Hi there, I'm Matt, and with Om Sharan, we built Energy Hawk. Climate change is a very pressing problem, but COVID's where all the attention is going to be for the next few years, and then after that, we'll be dealing with the economic impact. So the traditional way of dealing with climate change, of spending a ton of government money, isn't going to work. We're going to have to try something new. A fundamental principle of energy is that it cannot be created nor destroyed. So like a bank account, the inputs must be balanced with the outputs. Because energy cannot be created nor destroyed, we can use an Energy Hawk IoT sensor to track the outputs of energy from the building and compare that to the energy being put into the building, whether it be a hydro bill or the amount of natural gas burned. Here we have an Energy Hawk prototype, which is basically just a set of sensors that help it track how much energy is leaving the building from where in the building the sensor is located. It fundamentally works by placing energy hawks around a building, so at the roof, near a chimney, and by the windows. It keeps track of temperature, humidity, and air pressure and other variables. We send that information to a machine learning cluster, which compares it to the electrical gas and weather bills to see how much energy was put in, and then it generates a recommendation to see what are the most energy inefficient parts of the home. Where is the energy being lost? This can also be done for corporate buildings as well. Energy efficiency is the cheapest way to combat climate change. So why isn't it getting more attention? Well, the problem is it's spread out over millions of individual buildings. We know that we could save a lot of money if we could find it, but how do we find it? Well, now we can use an energy hawk. The goal of an energy hawk would be to easily and cheaply identify where the opportunities for savings are with regard to energy efficiency when it comes to HVAC or heating and ventilation systems. There are five key reasons why TD Insurance should do this project. Firstly, it gets their insurance customers comfortable with having sensors in the homes that monitor key things. Energy Hawk is something they'll be comfortable with in the same way they're comfortable with honey tracking their spending, because it saves them money. Eventually, as people become more comfortable, you can use the same sensors in the Energy Hawk, so the same installation to try and detect things like flooding, fires, and even infestations. And those are things which you often have to make insurance payments for. And if you can detect them early, it can reduce your costs. It also makes insurance less fungible. If people have to switch the hardware in their home instead of just switching a contract, it provides regular added value for your customers, simply because every couple months you'll send them a notification on how they can save money and how they can do better on their energy. It, for obvious reasons, it would boost your reputation as a green company. And you also have a lot of your own buildings, which are probably energy efficient, so you could use this internally. Customers won't be scared of this because it saves them money. People are all about privacy until they save five bucks. As an insurance company, you obviously don't want to get into the energy business, but that's not what it's about. It's not about energy. It's about data. And this is also very cheap. You could build it off components from DigiKey for $20. This is a highly feasible idea. It's innovative. It sets the stage for the future and can have a massive impact on CO2 emissions going forward. It's something that TD Insurance will want to add to its portfolio.